Hi there, I'm Vicki Papineau from Aussie Stampers. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a whole video of my new Traveller's Notebook and I'm really excited to show this to you. As you know, I love working in Traveller's Notebooks for my art journaling, also for my documenting and memory keeping and I also like using them for my bullet journal and just making general lists. I feel they're really useful. I wanted to do a comparison between this very earthy, almost masculine handmade looking leather traveler's notebook and my Webster's pages so let's get this out and I'll show you what's in here it's really lovely I'm really happy with this it is as I said it's by rust leather and it's made in Vietnam and it has your typical fixtures on the side where there are the elastics held in place with this it has an elastic on the outside to hold it closed and when when you have it open you can just pop that around the edge there and that keeps it safe you can see that that's how you use that now inside I particularly love the inside because it has this beautiful soft leather cover and it's got slightly rounded edges it doesn't have any stitching on it I didn't really want anything too stitched up I love my Webster's pages it's a really different sort of feel but this one I think is quite masculine but it's also quite earthy and quite organic and I'm planning on using a lot of brown and green and soft blues when I do my layouts in this particular journal. Now I did get it for a discount there was a big sale on I purchased it from Rust Leather in Sydney Westfields in Pitt Street Sydney in the CBD and it was on level one opposite bonds so if you're looking for this little shop it's kind of out near the escalators and um, Lara served me and she was so helpful and there was a big sale going on I scored this at 20% discount which was the current sale I had on and then when I told her I was going to be making YouTube videos with this she put, took a little bit more off the price too I ended up getting it for $50 so thank you Lara that was amazing I'm very thankful for that I wanted to show you inside what the covers are like they're like a nice pearlized metallic look and they're really nice and thick which I like so that they're not going to curl up they're going to be really sturdy the first notebook has lined pages which is exactly what I've been looking for I don't have a lined page insert so this is the one that I want to use for my lists and maybe do some bullet journaling in there as well and then the second insert look at this this is a beautiful navy metallic almost pearlized metallic it just really lovely covers on the inside and this one's blank they are stapled on the spine I'll just take one out and show you some of these come stitched but these particular books are stapled and I actually like the staples I think they work really well when you start putting some mixed media in there whereas the stitching weakens it a bit sometimes if you're using different sorts of gessos and things on it although I won't be using too much gesso in my lined book probably more so in the blank one and so you can see it's a very simple setup you've just got your elastic that goes through the back and I just love it I think it's really really nice I like the leather it's a little bit distressed but not too distressed I don't like them too distressed but that for me is gorgeous and I just love it now in comparison to my Webster's pages which you may have seen me bring out before this is a much more refined and stitched up version I loved this because of the diamond stitching and in fact when I look close to it it's actually diamond embossing on it the stitching is around the edges and the stitching is around the edges of the little tag which says be creative which I think was really sweet I've added a prima charm to it and I decided to add an extra feather because I have a great love for feathers I have a whole jar of feathers that I collect from the birds that are in our garden here so I wanted to put a feather on the back and I also added some of this beautiful copper trim which is Stampin' Up's beautiful trim this stuff is gorgeous if you haven't had a look at this it's beautiful it's so soft and pretty you can do so many things with it and it really suits this earthy organic style of Traveller's Notebook so that's my Webster's pages I wanted to show you inside my Webster's this has a nice WP in gold embossed letters there and inside this one we have a place to hang your charm on when you open it up I've put some Heidi Swap 
planner cards in here. I cut them down to fit the pockets so that when I look at it, I have something that is going to be, I guess, a little bit inspirational for me. If only our eyes saw souls instead of bodies, how very different our ideals of beauty would be. I just love that. I think that's really gorgeous. And then this one here, do not give the past the power to define your future. I love those pockets. There's more pockets there and there's another pocket in here. This has a spare elastic in it. So you can see this has uh, one, two, three elastics in it. So I have my nature journal in here. You may have seen me. There is a process video of this layout I did of the echidna back in January. And I love this layout. It just is very evocative of the walk that I did in the national park, really enjoyable. And another one I did, which also has a process video is this Stampin' Up! Traveller's Notebook that I made completely out of designer series paper and it's all black and whites. And I've also done a process video of this page here. I'll just show you that, very sweet. I love this page. It's, you can see there's a lot of shine on it. If I move it around, you can see how shiny it is. <laughs> it was, I was going through my shiny phase. I really love this page. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is another process video that's on my channel as well. So if you like Traveller's Notebooks, you'd like to see how I actually made this and I have a really easy technique for binding them. You can staple them together without a stapler. It's really quite simple to do once you know the trick. So <laughs> I like the inside of this being black against the cream and then on the back you can pop in a shopping list if you wanted to and there's another pocket there. Oh plus there's a, a really good pen loop. This is just elastic which is perfect because my pen doesn't move out of this one and this pen came from Kmart two for five dollars in the gold love it so that's my webster's pages traveler's notebook and my rust traveler's notebook so i'm glad that finally we are able to find them here in oz thanks for joining me today for the whole video if you have any comments about your traveler's notebook or you have any questions uh, just leave them in the comment sections below and I'd love to see what you make in your traveler's notebook too. So if you just hashtag Vicky Parfano stamps um, over on my Instagram account, which is Vicky Parfano stamps, um, I'll come and have a look at what you're making in your traveler's notebook as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time with a card making video. Bye for now.